Hello YouTube fans, my name is Leo, and welcome back to another video by the Super Santa Client. In this video, we're going to be doing our second part of our previous video we made a few weeks ago about the Salem Witch Trials, except this time we're in the actual Salem Witch Trials Museum over in Salem, Massachusetts. A few weeks ago, we made our part one, where we talked all about what really happened during the Salem Witch Trials. You can watch that video on my channel, and just look them up on my channel. But now let's begin. Also, if you'll enjoy this video, just hit that subscribe button for a party, and and let's start now, without further ado. So, in 1692, in particular on March 1st in 1692, it, we're in, in Salem, Massachusetts, which is where I am now in the museum, we have three people, Sarah Good, Sarah Osborne, and Tichuba, all accused of witchcraft, which was a false accusation, but the people in the court did not know, did not know that. How did that happen? It started with the cousins Abigail Williams and Betty Paris. A doctor like William Griggs accused them as under an evil hand, probably meaning the devil. And because of that, it spread to all the people throughout the rest of 1692 into 1693 and all the way until May of that year before the trials were, sus were suspended. But during that time, we had people ex falsely executed for crimes they did not commit. Giles Corey is one famous example of that. His wife was previously accused and was and he ac accused his wife and now it was his turn to be accused. He knew he didn't commit it, but they accused him anyway and they executed him by, throwing, by pressing stones at him when he didn't really deserve that punishment. But that was what happened. Thankfully, there's no law like this anymore that, that makes you get executed for this. In fact, the, the Massachusetts United does not even have the death penalty now. Oh. But before, Massachusetts did have the death penalty, and some states in the U.S. still do have the death penalty, including Massachusetts at that time. So that was all that happened in the Salem Witch Trials, and it's pretty famous, so I'm sure you guys have, have, have heard, about, heard about it one time or another. So that was what happened when we were out at the museum. So that was our part two. Bye. See you next time.